Hi everybody, this is a video showing how to build your own CV shafts for a first generation Raptor swap on 2004 to 2008 Ford F-150. As you can see here, I already have everything put together except for the CV shafts. There's a big pile of parts and tools and a mess everywhere in my garage. These are the original F-150 CV shafts. Just start by removing the boots. You gotta take the retainer ring from the inboard side out. And that inboard race pops right out. Now I'm removing the snap ring from the end of the shaft. All right, here I'm removing the inner and outer race from the inboard side. And once I get it off, I'm gonna stamp it or punch on both pieces so I remember which side goes which direction. As you can see here, I am removing the other boot clamps. I would have done it earlier, but these things are full of grease and they're really messy. I ended up not saving the original boots because the new shaft is slightly smaller in diameter, so I went with the appropriate size boots for those. Here I'm cutting the inboard side of the shaft off right up next to the race there. It's about maybe an eighth of an inch gap between the end of the race and where I'm cutting I'm using a sixteenth inch cutting blade on a four inch uh, grinder. Next I'm tapping on the old piece of shaft and the non-wearable parts of the race to remove the ball bearings. And just do one from each side, back and forth until they're all out, and then that whole race will pop out of the end. Voila, it's out. Uh, make sure you have at least two cans of brake cleaner before you start this project because there's tons of grease. Gotta get all that stuff out of there. Okay, so this is a picture of the external snap ring from the inboard side, which got reused on the new shaft. Okay, and as you can see here, the grooves that I cut, I used a grinding disc on a four inch grinder to cut those grooves in the new shaft. Basically just replicated the 
the OE shafts and that was not the correct fit. I ended up redoing this shaft by uh, cutting a new groove in it and there's a boss welded on on the inside, the inboard side, for the uh, bearing race to stop on and then re reuse the uh, snap ring on the end. This is what it should look like. It fits nice and snug. This is going to be reinstalled lastly before the boots go back on. Alright, well hopefully you're watching this video before you begin disassembling your old CB shafts because there is an inside and an outside to these pieces here. I would suggest taking some pictures as you disassemble your old ones first to show which, which sides are inside and which sides are out. Or maybe uh, stamping it with a, like a punch or something on the, uh, the end of the races so you know which sides are what. So this is where my video gets really blurry, I apologize for that, I'm not a videographer, I'm a nurse and a DJ, but basically just kind of tap those races back and forth to reinstall each one of those ball bearings. Um, there's other videos on YouTube that <laughs> show this a lot better than what this video does here, obviously. So here I'm just putting the old shaft into the, uh, the end there and moving it around. You can kind of do this to help uh, move it around so you can open up the next open space for the ball bearings to go in. Here it is with the new shaft, which looks like it's installed, but it's not because I don't have the snap ring on the end. If it was, it would never come back out. I took the shaft back out so that I could pack some grease down from the underside and from the top side. You just kind of work it in there. About four ounces of grease in each end. Okay, as you can notice on the bottom left of the screen that CV shaft has already been installed to the outboard side with the snap ring in place. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm putting the new boots on. Slide them on. Now I'm reassembling the bearing race on the inboard side, exactly opposite of how it came apart at the beginning. Again, using external snap ring on the end of that shaft. 
got a whole DIY piece together there. Now I'm putting the ball bearings back into their places. This is the easier side to do. And of course, don't forget to pack it with about four to five ounces of that full synthetic grease. Now I'm putting that retainer ring back in so that stuff doesn't come apart. boots into place and put new CV boot clamps on. I was kind of struggling with my cheap CV boot clamp pliers so uh, I ended up using side cutter a little bit there to get it started and then finished clamping with that tool. See, I'm putting on the rest of those boot clamps, and once you get the boot clamps on, you're done. Close it all off once again with brake cleaner because there's grease everywhere. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks, guys.